a special graduation in Orlando today. Some students are cooking up new lives for themselves. A state funded program is helping train them for jobs so they can help support themselves. Fox 35's Holly Bristow shows us. As a professional chef put the finishing touches on the cake for the hands-on education students at the Hyatt Regency Orlando on I Drive, the graduates it was made for wrapped up their two-week program learning the skills necessary to work in a professional kitchen. First I started with pastry and I did a lot of bread and cookies and a lot of eating. Um, yeah, pretty much and hang out with all the other girls. Jackie Gabro is one of four culinary trainees. Today, she's preparing cold foods. In Governor's Day, we do fruit cups and sandwiches and fruit bowls. What's the coolest thing that you've learned so far? I think doing pastry, because it's something about I've always loved to do. And I think I want to do that once I'm done. Words to Joe Ficka's ears. He's the director of hands-on education. Hands-on education at Hyatt is a state-funded program uh, that's a partnership between Hyatt Hotels and hands-on education and the state division of vocational rehabilitation. And uh, what our mission is to help people with disabilities, mild to moderate disabilities, um, get a job in the hospitality industry, and there's no better place to learn than Hyatt Hotels. Reba couldn't agree more. Put it around your thumb over here. The master pastry chef was giving her tips up until just a few minutes before graduation. What are you hoping to do after you officially graduate this afternoon? Mm, hopefully coming back. <laughs> hopefully coming back. You want to work here, don't you? Yeah. Hyatt Regency's Area Human Resources Director Mark Haverd says that could happen. He's been working with hands-on education for 14 years. It's a great chance for us to expose our industry to some uh, folks that have uh, disabilities that may not otherwise have a chance to to learn employability skills. Haverd has hired many of these students over the years and he's proud of their accomplishments. What's the most Making it cool. And he's proud of their newfound confidence in the kitchen and in life. Not being afraid to use my knives. Um, and not being afraid to ask people for help. In Orlando, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. If you want more information about the program, you can check out handsoneducation.com.